the space of the heart. This vast expanse that often can get protected, can get thorns growing around it, perhaps some tightness. And today is all about coming back into the heart. So just feeling that space now. Notice if it feels contracted in any way, like you want to protect it. And see if you can meet that contraction, any tightness with a really loving, gentle breath. As if you were coming towards the heart, imagining it was like a little child and your breath is like the most generous of mothers. Comforting, welcoming, all that is there. And perhaps there's resistance, perhaps there's sadness, grief, perhaps the vast expanse of unconditional love. See what's there for you right now and meet yourself with your breath, with your heart. And know that if your mind is trying to grasp this and can't, it's okay. As we meet here in this time, it's actually out of time and space as we know it, where we're meeting, because this is ceremony, this is transmission. Know that the part of you that needs to hear this and understands this is getting it. The mind can just settle and receive. Take a long breath in and sigh it all out. And as you keep your attention on the heart space, I want you to think of something that you love. Perhaps it's a sunset you saw, an expanse of sky, a mountain, an ocean, a forest. And I want you to feel that appreciation that you have for that vision, that experience. And there's no efforting in this. Let it be part of your experience now. Notice if you get any softness around the heart, if you can feel any expansion. And you can gently encourage that with slightly deeper breaths into the chest. Nudging open any tightness. Letting go anything you don't need right now in this moment. And as you call all yourself here into this next breath, let that feeling of gratitude and, and appreciation travel out on your out breath to surround the room around you. And then breathing in, expanding the heart space. And with your next exhale, sending that down into the center of the earth, into the crystalline core, into the great mother. And then inhale, receiving as you breathe in. 
Let it fill up your heart, fill that receptivity. And then again, exhaling right back down into the crystalline core, grounding yourself. Breathing in, receiving the nourishment from the Great Mother. And then just let that settle into your heart. And now bringing into your heart space someone or something that you love. Maybe it's a pet. Maybe it's a particular time in life. Maybe it's a person. And as you bring them into the heart, feel that expansion happen with the love that you feel. That person, place, being, time. And let it expand throughout all of your body, this whole temple where your soul is housed. Let it light up every single cell. Let it light up every single cell as you become this radiant beam of light. And if you're finding places where there's resistance or you don't know how to do this, let go. Just go with the intention. No effort required here. There's no getting it wrong. Let that love fill you up and radiate out. And then when you're as full as you can be in this moment in time, I want you to consider where you'd like to send that love. You are filled up, there's enough to go around, and it could be to a person, a situation in your life, something going on in the world, a country, our planet. Send that love now, let it just radiate out towards whoever or whatever you've chosen. You can visualize, you can set the intention, do what you want to do and just know that you don't get it wrong. There are no mistakes. And as you send that love, you feel yourself expanding even more, filling up with even more love. It's like this regenerative power. It's an everlasting source. Okay, and then come back and just place the attention on the back of the body for now. See if you can just lean a little bit into the back of the body and settle there falling all pieces and parts of yourself back into this time. And you can take a little stretch. You can give your heart a little rub 